League Lectures. Um, I'm here with my dad. His YouTube is known as Sports Mania Card. So y'all can go give him a follow yeah. after this video. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a MLB playoff updates and predictions for what's still to come as of right now. So we're going to start off with a little bit of Astros talk. We both said Rays and Astros will go to four games and the Astros will win on the fourth game. But when we went to Tampa, all the momentum shifted to Tampa Bay. Um, it seemed nothing went right for us when we went to Tampa. We couldn't get any hits. Our pitching was not the same. It's it's crazy how in baseball, it seems home field advantage, no matter what way the series is going, can completely flip a series. So hopefully when we come back tonight, we can flip it again and we can get it done tonight. What are your what are you kind of thinking for it right now? Uh the the series uh, we, we both said uh, Astros and four so pretty surprised that there is a game five. Um, I'm more concerned with our bats. I mean, I think everybody's talking about the pitching of the Astros not being what it was yeah. uh, supposed to be, but um, I mean, game three was a crapper. Uh, you know, we, we that was a pretty bad one. Who started game three? Uh, um, for uh, who started for Granky, Granky, Granky. So I said we were gonna lose that game anyway, yeah, but it was more game for that. My whole thing was I know some, pe some people have told me Verlander requested to play game four to end the mm -hmm. series, which I know it's hard to say no to a guy like that, but I think Hinch has to know better, and it's not like. Verlander didn't do terrible, I guess. He started off rocky and he kind of settled in and gave up another run towards the end. But off three days of rest, you should have known someone else needs the ball. Um, it probably should have been Miley's start, but we played Miley in bullpen yeah. in replace of Granky. So I think we really mismanaged our own team in game three and four, which... Looks like we lost Jonathan there. Um, I'll kind of talk while he's gone. Um, he'll be back shortly, I'm sure. Yeah, I think Grinke's, uh his outing was was really the uh, the issue with the team with the game. Um, we had to go into the bullpen. We ended up giving up several runs. Okay, he's back. So yeah, like what I was saying. Sorry, my Wi-Fi is just terrible. <laughs> but um, we don't know how how well Miley or your Quiddy would have done if they were in the starting position. But when we already know what happened in game four, when they weren't starting, you always have to wonder what if, um, but again, I know it's hard to say no to Verlander, but again, Hinch is smart and he probably should have known better than to. Yeah. I don't know. Um, while you were out for a few seconds, I was talking about game three a little bit. Um, Grinke, he just didn't have it. I mean, he, uh, um, yeah, and then we had to dig into the bullpen and Miley pitch some of that. Yeah. Um, so that kind of played into Miley not going game four. I mean, I don't know. Verlander's a Hall of Famer. Um, if he, we don't know behind the scenes what is said. We don't know if Verlander asked for the game. If you know, I I heard some people he say he did, but I still think we should have probably gone. Yeah. Of course, after we yeah. lost. Of course, I know mostly we can blame blame the bats, but you can still say, looking back, but of course, hindsight's always. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have a bad outing. I mean, I guess he gave up three in the first, and then for the rest. One in the fifth or something like yeah, that. One in the fifth. So he ended up going five or six, gave, you know, so, I mean, that's not a bad outing. For Verlanders, yeah. it is, but. It could have been a lot worse. The Bastards didn't do and, and we had a few bad breaks. You know, we got thrown out at home play. Th those were both perfect. That was a perfect relay from the outfield to the short and from short to home. Um, just barely got Altuve. If we scored that run, I think we would have had second and third with one out. Yeah. Who knows how that ending inning would have ended. Yeah. Um, we had an opportunity late. 
And uh, the bats just the bats just went have went really went cold since game one. I mean, game one we scored six, I think. Game two, I think we scored six as well, but I might be wrong. I'll double check that. Yeah, I mean, I think game one we had our, our biggest offensive explosion, and then game two, game two was three to one, wasn't it? I'm checking against Morton. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So game one was what six to six to two, six to two. Game three, game two was three to one. Game and it was three, ten to three, ten to three. So, uh, and you know those three runs in that. 10 to three game were crap runs. Yeah. And then um, mm -hmm. last night we only, uh, the night before we only scored one. So my concern is the bats more than the pitching. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, yeah, we're at home tonight. Uh, we have the best record in baseball at home. So hopefully we have some home cooking tonight. The bats wake up, uh, Cole's yeah. on the mound, right? Mm -hmm. Cole. And then uh, I guess glass now for yeah. Tampa. And I saw on uh, MLB Network earlier that um, the Rays are giving Glasnow as many innings as he as he can handle. They're not going to do their bullpen by committee type thing. They're they're saying Hopefully we can punch him out early. Yeah, I mean if he struggles, then they'll turn over to that bullpen by committee. But I'm sure they got Morton that can pitch. I mean this mm -hmm. is this is do or die for both teams. So there's you know no holding back. Yeah. What what. What I think we should have done is you're probably right is started your quitty uh, last night or the night before. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And then if we ended up losing that game, we could have went with Verlander to start and Cole in relief or Cole to start Verlander relief. Yeah. We had both of our, our horses going at home, but you know, I don't know. I mean, there, he, AJ Hinch is a manager for a reason, and we're here to talk about it for a reason and yeah, predict every series incorrectly. So, yeah, I didn't know that you told me that we've every series has been wrong so far for us. Yeah, yeah we can hopefully, do that later. this is the one we get right. This is, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, this is the one we get right. Or, I don't know if I'll be doing any more videos for a while because, uh, all right, so uh, yeah, but yeah. all that said, we are coming back home tonight, like you said, and. Hopefully, we can shift the momentum back in our favor. And, of course, there's going to be some bias in this. Of course, we're going to say we get the momentum back. But I'm going to say the Astros do win game five to move on. I'm going to say we win with a score of four to two. Um, last last outing, Glasnow gave up also two. I don't know if he'll give up the two runs here. But at some point – or. My bad. I was reading it backwards. I think he'll give up two again, but and then since both teams have had to kind of dive into their bullpen more, we might be able to score a little bit more after Glasnow's out, so get us another two. And then hopefully Cole's on his game, giving up one at most, and then maybe someone else in the bullpen will probably give up one. That's just because that's how it goes normally with most bullpens. Um. I'm not expecting the bats to wake up a whole lot, but they need to wake up enough just to get this win. So, yeah. what are you thinking? Uh, I got I got, I got the Astros winning, of course. I, you know, we predicted it from the beginning, so I'm not going to go against that. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say five to three Astros. Uh, I think we get to Glasnow second, third inning, and uh, well, second time around the order. Um, I look for Cole to stay into his arm falls off, basically. I mean, well, I, I, you can't you can't say we're saving him for the Yankees. You can't know, do that. I mean, don't don't push him too much. You uh, I, 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 I would. I, I, if I if was man, eight, I mean, fine. It depends on how the game's going. If we're up five nothing in the third inning, I mean, yeah. yeah. But if it's a tight game, 110, 120 pitches. I mean, who's the better option? He he's better than anything else. We I don't Berlander can't go tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we got Miley. He can go. Um, our bullpen, you know, they, uh, you know, they can turn over to the bullpen if the leads. I don't know. I, if if the game was within three or four runs, I'd keep Cole in. Yeah. You know, um, I guess Asuna hasn't pitched since game one, so. I don't think he has. Kind of, he should, 
do what? That kind of concerns me. Um, he hadn't pitched since game one, if I'm correct. I think you're right. But we know game two, Cole had it almost the entire game. So it's right. game and three. Then. We were down big early, so I guess there's no really no need to throw in your closer there. Yeah, I'm just talking about he hadn't had no work, you know, lot, game work. I mean, I'm sure he's I doing know, I'm not saying why. Yeah, I'm sure he's doing bullpen sessions. and but uh, He'll definitely be used tonight if needed. Yeah, would de definitely. So, yeah, it's – anyway, so, yeah, Astros – Five to three, I wouldn't be surprised. I think I'd be more surprised with a with a low scoring game tonight. Yeah, um, I don't know. You never know because yeah, you just uh, never know. Seems the Rays, the Rays bats in Tampa, they were really good. But when they were in Houston, they didn't do a whole lot, and it was yeah. kind of vice versa with us. So I don't know. Home field advantage. I told you this the other day through text. Yeah, home field advantage in baseball is crazy. It just mm -hmm. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> That's why they have home foot advantage. Yeah. But either way, we'll move on a little bit. Um, so last night we had two closing game fives. Both were last night, correct? Yes. So well, Yesterday afternoon, yesterday, last night, yeah. Yesterday. <laughs> um, the Nationals beat the Dodgers, which oh. – yeah, I'm glad for that. I always kind of like the Nationals. It used to be just because I like Bryce Harper. I yeah. know he's not there anymore, but for some reason, I still like him. Not a fan, but yeah, you know I mean. just different. Someone yeah. different. The Dodgers are out. Yeah, um, no third World Series in the row for the Dodgers. And that really surprised me because almost everybody and their moms had Dodgers making the third World Series in a row, including us. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Including us. Um, so who knows? They might be really legit, or maybe the Dodgers just choked. It seems like the last few playoffs, every year, Clayton Kershaw struggles in the postseason to some extent. Yeah, he has. I don't know what the deal is with that. If it's his pitching staff or whatever doesn't get him ready enough, but he's Clayton Kershaw, so he should be <clears> fine <throat> by himself either way. So I don't know. Who knows what the Nationals are? And the Cardinals put a whooping on the break oh, last night. Crazy. Yesterday, whatever time it was. I checked in the first inning. It was <laughs> 10 to 0. I'm like, yep. what the heck? What's going on here? I know. And I made a joke that sounds like Atlanta sports because a few years ago, Falcons had the biggest choke <laughs> in Super Bowl history. Their basketball team's never really been that good. And now, after a pretty good season, not great, but over a good season, the Braves yeah, this is, they won their division. Either way. What, how much did they win? Uh, let's see. Um, probably 90s, mid 90s, 95. I can check while you're talking. Either way, Atlanta sports, they always seem to disappoint. So from now on, there's Atlanta sports in any playoffs. I'm picking them to lose at some point. I'm never. I'm not having any faith in Atlanta again. Um. But ten to nothing. I think I read that was a playoff record for most runs in the first inning by a team. I would think so. so. That's crazy. so. Now, no one would have guessed the NLCS is now the Nationals versus the Cardinals. Um. Two solid offensive teams, two good pitching teams. Um, so it should be a real close series. Um, I was a little lazy. I didn't do a whole lot more studying for this game or for this series. I still got what we had last time we talked. Um, starter ERA, the Nationals have the better ERA, I believe. Let me check that. Yeah, they've got the better starter ERA, but again, they still have the worst bullpen ERA, which obviously that didn't hurt them against the Dodgers. And the Nationals offense team average is also better than the Cardinals. So I think we're going to have another close series here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say the Nationals win in six, actually. Yeah. Um, they beat... 
I, I'm just so shocked they beat the Dodgers. The Dodgers are a good team. I thought the Dodgers were yeah. head and shoulders above the rest in that league. And I think beating the Dodgers is their their message to show they're legit and that they're about to make the World Series. So we'll see what happens. But, again, like you said, we've been wrong in every series. <laughs> yes, we See what happens here. <clears throat> Yeah, so um yeah, so Atlanta won 97 games. So <laughs> they won their division and Washington was the wild card. Just remember that Washington was the wild card. They were second place and behind. Like you, said, like you said these last few years the wild card teams always made a run, so maybe so the Nationals better, on that team. That better end again also with the Astros Rays. The Rays are the wild card. Yeah, let's, there's a lot let's of, hope that. there's a lot of things setting up for a uh, so weird like post earlier. Every series that we predicted, we've been wrong. We had the Dodgers beating the Nationals. We had the Braves upsetting the Cardinals. I even we said had the Twins beating the Yankees, and the Yankees swept the Twins. We haven't even talked about that series. Yeah, I wanted to, but I figured we'll do that for another day or something. Yeah, but well, I even we- said the Dodgers sweeping the Nationals is the most likely to happen, which obviously yeah. didn't happen. Right. Not- well, the Yankees weren't going to sweep, but they did. So it's just been a rough prediction playoffs. Well, like, I, like I said, when we first started this video, I think the very first thing I said was this is going to be a great playoff series. Any mm-hmm. Anybody can win. We've had, we've had one bad series, the Yankees and Twins, and that shocked me. I yeah. thought the Twins were really going to – Could at least get one. Yeah. I mean, they just they didn't even show up. They it, it was it was sad for Minnesota. Yankees pitching showed up and their bats showed up. I saw I saw uh, someone somewhere said that the Twins aren't legit. They just beat up on the Central all season. You know, everyone in their division was weak. Um, so, uh, I mean, they, you know, apparently uh, we underestimated the Yankees. So, uh, mm-hmm. but uh, so yeah, talking a little bit about this series. Um, uh, the Nationals are have the better stats offensively than the Cardinals almost in every category. They batted 265 versus 245 for St. Louis. They had two, 231 home runs, uh, 210 for St. Louis. Their overall ERA is uh, 427, and St. Louis's overall EA is a 380. Um, St. Louis did win the season series five games to two. Hmm. So – but you can throw all that, you know, out the window when it comes postseason time. Yeah, it um, doesn't always add up. Yeah. So I don't. The pitching, the opening game is is uh, Saturday, I think. S- no, tomorrow. 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 Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Yes. Uh, ESPN told me Saturday. That's game. That'd be game two. So yeah, tomorrow seven o'clock. But the pitching matchup has not been set yet. Yeah. So, um, but I have Nats in seven. So, um, well, since we're both predicting the Nationals, it'll probably yeah, be the Cardinals. Yeah, Cardinals will win. <laughs> so we've got every series wrong. We just need to be right with the Astros. Yeah, that's all that matters is tonight's outcome. No surprises at our expense. Yeah, but talking, uh, you're talking a little bit about both National League division games yesterday. Um, yeah, I wa- I had the, the Braves Cardinals on first inning, and that was just absolutely crazy. Ten to nothing in the first inning. Can you imagine spending? You the race. Can you imagine spending three four hundred dollars on a ticket, and then it's over? You're in line at the concession stand getting your popcorn and your coke. Oh, it's four to nothing. You go to the restroom. You ready to go find your seat? It's eight to nothing. Like, <laughs> do you stay? <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. I, I, I feel, I feel so bad for Atlanta fans. They've got it rough. Yeah, but but uh, Atlanta's got a great young nucleus. Um, they're going to be back. Brian McCann did retire. He announced his retirement. So, mm-hmm. a lot of respect for B Mac. Um, he helped us win. He helped the Astros win a World Series in seventeen. He's a class act. He's old school. Maybe we can um, call him back just for some help tonight. Yeah. Uh, I listened to his 
press conference last night. He uh, he's not going to be back with Houston. He it sounds, I mean, not even in a coaching capacity. Yeah. He's from Georgia. He was born and raised there. Um, so he'll be doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff for them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thirteen to one final. Uh, that's just sad. And then last the, the uh, late game, the Dodgers and Nationals, like we already covered, uh, Nats won seven to three. I didn't watch any of it, um, but uh, I, I, I love know. how it ended. I love you know a grand slam in yeah. the top of the tenth by Howie Kendrick. Uh, he's a former Dodger. He played with them for two years, so a little bit of sweet revenge. Um, yeah. So yeah. I need to go back and just watch the highlights of that. I didn't get to see the home run. I didn't see the reactions of both teams. But apparently um, it was off of Joe Kelly, the Grand Slam was. But I guess a lot of the uh, – was Kershaw came in relief and gave up a couple of base runners. and uh, So, yeah, Kershaw's got a – I don't have his stats up, but he is not a prime time – playoff pitcher whatever that reason is who, who knows uh some guys just don't handle the big stage like they do the regular season yeah and at so, the same time it's kind of hard kind of unfair to give kershaw all the blame when kelly did give up the grand slam yeah yeah but i but think some of the base yeah. runners were kershaw's but yeah. yeah crazy ending in that one and uh Crazy beginning in the first one. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. But you think the Braves – Keiko's a free agent after this year, right? Um, I, I would – I think so. I'm sure they signed him for one year, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Um, point in the season, something like that? Yeah. He only had like 16 starts in the season, so. Yeah. I don't know. Um, their staff – is pretty young. Uh, I I could see them bringing him back, maybe third yeah. or starter, you know. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I, I don't know if he's going to want to break the bank again. You know, yeah. I love it that that Kimbrel didn't. You know, Kimbrel did the same thing. He held out half the season. Yeah, he never got signed, did he? No, the Cubs. He was oh, on the yeah, Cubs. I forgot about that. And, and the Cubs, they didn't do crap, and they didn't make the playoffs. They fired their manager. And I don't know if you saw, speaking of managers getting fired, the Phillies fired their manager. Mm, no, I didn't see that. Gabe Kapler. He only got two seasons with him. Um, he was he was 500 last year, and he was like two games under 500 this year. So uh, they're going in a different direction. Um, that's a talented ball club. They got a lot of young stars. Uh, they got Hos- R- Reese Hoskins. Of course, they got Bryce Harper. Um they got some keys to a good team there. So Philly, Philadelphia, I think, was expecting a better season, especially after signing Harper. So uh, yeah, we'll see where they turn to. We know Joe Madden's out there, but I'm not. I think he'll go to uh, the Angels. Uh, Mike Sosh is out there. Brad Osmus, but I don't think they'll sign Brad Osmus. He hasn't. He hasn't had very good managerial record. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's another opening there. Yeah, should be interesting. Yeah. Um, I think that's really it. We were waiting for the Yankees and winner tonight. We'll talk about that another day. Yeah, uh, I mean, briefly, like we said, the Yankees, uh, we didn't really talk about that series. The Yankees swept out the Twins. Uh, pretty shocked there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the winner of the Astros raised. The Yankees are waiting. They're rested. Yeah, I think the winner game five tonight's in trouble against the Yankees at least for the first two games, because that means both of just the Rays or the Astros, yeah, their starters are going to be tired probably. Um, and if your pitchers aren't on point against the Yankees, it's probably not going to end well. Yeah, game game one is Saturday night, so I mean it. Verlander couldn't make Saturday night if he pitched Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's three days rest again. I don't think they'll start Verlander because yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Have to give Miley the start because Cole's going tonight. So yeah, just depends. Game one. 
see what happens tonight. I, I mean, start a rotation or raise rotation, whichever it be. Yeah, I mean, hopefully so we don't back in and work. tonight. Like we said, you can't save anything. You got to go for the gusto tonight, mm -hmm. do whatever you got to do to win, and yeah. worry about Saturday, Saturday. So, yeah. But there's one thing that gives me hope, and I had completely forgotten about this. I was just walking to Chick-fil-A on campus, and some guy behind me was on the phone. I don't know who he was talking to. But he said he's not really panicking because in 2017, when we won the World Series, we went to five with the Red Sox, and yeah. we – Went to seven with the Yankees, yeah. and then what was it? Seven with the Dodgers. Dodgers, yeah. So yeah. we're we know what we know how to take it game by game and go through the yeah. whole. I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but you know what I'm talking about. We know how to be prepared for the long series. So yeah, yeah. You can take it game by game because it's a series, and mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, I think that's cool. it, really. About three hours away, and we'll yep. see how it goes. Yep. And at the same time, Thursday night football, nobody, at least I'm not watching that. I said on my YouTube video <laughs> earlier, even if it's even if it wasn't for the Astros, I'm not watching that game tonight. That game's going to suck. With me. Being the football fan you are, I, you would watch. I mean, I say that, but I probably would watch it. But yeah. I, might, I might not watch it. I might have yeah. a background right. noise or something yeah <laughs> but either way i think that'll be a slaughter and hopefully ashes can slaughter the race tonight but uh, doesn't have to be a slaughter let's just take a dub either way so yeah for recap we both have the ashes winning tonight um and then for the nlcs we both have the nationals winning i have them six um sports mania cards has in seven um but given our track record we might be coming back in a few days saying we're wrong again and being disappointed. Hopefully not. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my dad's channel at Sports Mania Card. Um, if you're a big baseball card fan, he really goes over that a lot. Um, I'm not sure if you wanted him to talk yeah. about football cards or something, he can pull that out. But he's, he's he knows a lot about cards. He's been collecting them since he was – my age and younger so he knows what he's talking about and anything else you want to say yeah real quickly real quickly uh for all the lee lectures subscribers out there who see this video yeah i'd love it if you'd uh give my channel a, ch a look uh give me a sub and uh check me out if you're into sports cards or you know someone who is um, or if you I just want to have a baseball conversation with them. Yeah, and anything. Um, but yeah, just uh, you can check. I got a lot of videos up. I got a lot of Astro cards. A lot of if there's any uh, guys my age who watch your channel. Got a lot of a lot of guys. A lot of stuff from the 80s and 90s. And probably uh, just the ones that are your friends that are already subscribed to you. Yeah, I don't know. I just I don't know who's your subs yeah. are. So also shout out your your Twitter. That's where you actually sell your cards. Yeah, on Twitter, uh, at Sportsmania Card. I also have a blog. Um, it's in my Twitter feed. You can you can see that. I haven't written in a year in it. Um, I'm going to try to get back going on that. But, Maybe. huh? Maybe one day. Yeah, I don't, probably not since I'm going to be starting college again here in a few months. Don't know if I'm going to have time for much fun stuff. <laughs> So, so yeah, I, anyway, season. appreciate you having me on, Jonathan. No problem. All right, everybody, I think that's it. Again, thanks for watching. And once again, I want to thank my subscriber that sent me this. Uh, much appreciated. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Go Astros.